In this video, we're going to be getting a quick introduction to Excel pivot tables. Now, pivot tables are perhaps one of my favorite features in all of Excel. If you haven't worked with pivot tables before, you're going to find out just how quickly you can take a large set of data, such as what I have open in front of you right now, and quickly summarize that data. Now, the file that I have open in front of you is something you can download. I'm going to provide a link down in the description of this video so you can download it, follow along with me, practice these concepts. So this file, it is called intro pivot tables hyphen zero one, and it's an Excel file, and it's got one worksheet in it called customer orders. Now on the worksheet, it's got a simple little list, roughly 830 records. But this could be several thousand records, tens of thousand records, tens of thousands of records, or more. And now I want to quickly summarize that data. Now on this list, we've got some column headings, and these are going to become very important to us as we start creating this pivot table. You'll find things like the order ID, customer name, employee name, a couple of dates, uh, a freight amount, a country, and so on. Now I want to be able to summarize this data. What can I do with it? Now let's think about that for a moment. Looking at this data, what's maybe something you would summarize here? Maybe it has something to do with the freight. We've got a freight value here, right? And it's a currency amount. Perhaps I want to find out how much freight we're spending for each country and maybe come up with some intelligent decisions based off of that value. Or maybe it's something I want to do by the order date. I want to know if there's any type of pattern that's that's going to emerge based on the year or perhaps quarterly. I want to find out what where we land within our freight costs. Or maybe it's a count. I just want to get a count of how many orders we have for each country or within a certain time period for order date. This is all great information. It's something you'd want to report off of so you can start making those intelligent business decisions. Well, looking at just 830 records, all of them all just stacked right there, that information, that summarized information, isn't something that you're going to easily find just looking at the data right here. This is where a pivot table steps in. A pivot table is going to allow us to take this data right here and summarize it and get those answers that we want. Take a look. So first step of creating a pivot table I'm just going to click into the list. Doesn't matter where, just as long as you're in the list. I'm then going to go to my insert tab, top of the screen, and your first option there should be pivot table. So I'm going to go ahead and give that button a click. If I click on the lower half, I'm going to get a few other options. But from here, I'm just going to go to from table range, and this will open up my insert pivot table window. So my table range is customer orders. That's my list right there. I formatted it as a table, gave it a name, called it customer orders and I'm gonna place this new pivot table into a new worksheet. So I'm gonna hit okay. This creates the new worksheet down below. I'm gonna rename it quickly here. I'll just call this orders PT, orders pivot table, and I'm good to go. Now, a couple of things show up on my screen here. First, on the left-hand side, I've got the beginnings of my pivot table. Not much to it yet, but we're gonna to start to create and lay out this pivot table. On the right hand side, this is the important spot. And let me move my head here. There we go. So this spot right here, it's gonna contain some stuff that should look pretty familiar right now. At the top, we've got all of our column headings that came from that list. Things like the order ID, the order date, the country we spoke about, the freight, and so on. Now what I get to do to lay this out and start to summarize this data, it's a drag and drop operation. I get to grab one of the fields and drag it down into one of these four areas here, filters, columns, rows, and values. So let's take a look. Here, I'm gonna grab the country, ship country, and I'm gonna drag that down to the row section. Drop it and look at that. My pivot table now has summarized the records by country. It's not much, but it found each of the countries and uniquely listed them all out here for me. Now, what's something I wanna know about each of those countries? Well, if I go back to my list here, my field list, let's say I grab the freight and I drop that into the value section. So now I get to look at it as broken up by country, 
I can now see how much we've spent for each of those countries throughout all 830 records. Okay, let's take it one step further. Let's see, back into the field list, we have something called ship via. These are the company names that we're utilizing to ship our orders. Well, if I grab that, I can drop it into the column section. I'll drop it there. And now, just drag and drop, I can see, broken up by country, how much we've spent for each of these shipping methods, whether it's Federal Shipping, Speedy Express, United Package, and we get our grand total for each of those countries. So drag and drop. As you can see, creating pivot tables isn't very, it's not time consuming. Just drag and drop your fields. The most time consuming part or the most difficult part of a pivot table is deciding how you want to lay the data out. How do you want to structure it? How do you want to summarize it? But once you understand that, once you know how you want the data to be laid out and structured and summarized, it's just drag and drop and you're creating your pivot tables. That's simple. Make sure you try this out. Jump into the description down below, download the file that I provided there, it's this one right here, and experiment with it. Create a pivot table. It's on your insert tab, pivot table right there. Create it, start dragging and dropping fields. Like I said, the most time consuming part is, well, what is it that I want to get out of here? What is it that I want to summarize? But once you've nailed that down, once you know how you want to summarize it, just drag and drop them in there. So do me a favor, as you get down and download the exercise file in the description below, give the video a thumbs up if you learned something new and leave a comment. Let me know where you can use pivot tables in your own working experience. So try this out. Thanks a lot and join me in the next video later on.